I told you myself they're headed for Cochise's stronghold. Man's liable not to come back from a party like that. But you work for Mr. Kelton. Well, I'll let you know, Captain. What do you got to let him know? You've been taking my money for months. You're going along. Yes, sir. All right, Captain. You can forget about this. I'll take over. This happens to be my job. It's my job, but I'm the boy's father. I'm sorry, Mr. Kelton, but you're overruled. I'm leading this posse. What posse? Everybody ready to go belongs to me. You're wrong about that. How long ago did they get the boy? About two or three hours, I guess. How many of them? I don't know about that. Yancey Davidson didn't say. Why didn't Davidson ride back with you? He's all shaken up. We need more men. Who else will go? I don't want to get messed up with any Indians, Captain, but I'll go. Good for you, Ben. Anybody else? I'll go, sir. How old are you, son? Uh, 19. All right, son, I guess you're old enough. But get along with what we've got. We'll take a pack horse. Kelton, you better make sure your water bags are all full. Travis, check on guns and ammunition and make sure every horse is sound. I'll take care of the food supplies. Well, I got all the ammunition there was in town, Captain. Six boxes. I feel sorry for Kelton. He's lost his wife a month ago, and now his boy's been kidnapped by Indians. You know, I'd forgotten about Mrs. Kelton. That's the way it goes sometimes, Travis. Bad luck comes in batches. Well, we'll see what we can do for him to help him on this one. Captain, they're shooting your horse, so we sent this one for you to ride. All right, he'll do the thanks. Now, we're not gonna ride out of here fanning the breeze. This might be a long ride. We'll start out fairly fast and try to keep moving steady. Let's go. says we are. Yeah, how do we know he's right? What we need is a good tracker like Waco. Tracking's part of Travis's job. Keep it the way it is. You're pretty high-handed about this, Riding. 
It's my boy we're after, isn't it? Yes, that's right, Mr. Kelton. I understand how you feel. You're worried and upset. But that's exactly why you should listen to somebody else. Fort, pretty tired, Captain. When do you expect to camp? We'll ride for a while longer. Well, Mendons will hold up for the night, and then they'll scat out again in the morning. We'll rest when I give the word. camp here tonight. How about me? He's camp ahead. Yes, I know he is. I'm worried about it. Well, let's ride out and bring him back. Sure. Then, yes, Captain. Get up on one of those high spots and keep watch. We'll let you know when food's ready. Figure that raiding party might double back and hit us? I figure we better be ready for anything. How long do you think it'll take us to catch up with them, Captain? I don't know. Two or three days if we're lucky. Well, that'll sure take us a long way into Indian country. There's a chance we've got to take. You want to bring that boy back, don't you? Not sure I do, but I want to get back myself, too. Suppose well, it's a big party of them Indians. What do we do when we catch up with them? Well, we'll talk. If they'll let us. Suppose they don't let us. Then we'll figure out something else. And they'll figure out something for us. I think we're going at this all wrong. I think we ought to... Ah! That came from up above. Probably all around us. There's no time to get excited. Keep watch. All right, we've got a job to do. Let's get started. Indians or no Indians, this man gets a decent burial. Come on, boys. Pick him up. I want to say a few words for this man. His name was Ben Waters. I knew him pretty well. Just an ordinary person like the rest of us trying his best to scratch a living out of this country. He didn't want to come along on this ride. He was scared, and he said so. But he came anyway. I figure this is all in Ben's favor. I hope you agree with me. Well, I guess we'd better be getting back. Those red devils are probably watching us right now. Well, it looks to me it's like we're in this over our heads. How do we know how many's out there? There might be 50 of them. I say we turn back. That's all right with me, too, Captain. You'd be real proud of yourselves, wouldn't you? Riding back into Nogales like a pack of whipped coyotes. We've got one man dead. I'd call that a pretty good showing. We didn't come out to make a showing. We came out to bring that boy back. Which one of you is ready to suggest quitting to Mr. Kelton? Indians out there? Uh, not a trace. But what's the matter? We lost Ben Waters. They buried a knife in his back. And you said there were no Indians around. Give me a drink of water, will you, Waco? Sure, Mr. Kelton. I don't think you'd know tracks if they bit you. 
Did you see any Indians? I didn't see anything. So we lost a man. You willing to keep going? We move out in the morning. Hey, my canteen's empty. No water. While we were burying Ben, those red devils sneaked in here and emptied them, every one of them. Our mine's full, so is Kelton's. We'll have to ration that. We never should have left the camp unguarded. Well, let's eat and get some rest. We aren't changing our plans. we we'll still move out at daybreak. I still say we're lost. Now there's tracks here. We're still behind them. That's good enough for me. We'll keep moving. Well, it's noon. Why can't we stay here till we eat? We don't eat till the night. Let's ride. Why should I? If you're taking us as a picnic, you're crazy. You all right, Denver? I feel all right. Better get yourself some food. I'm not hungry. We'll find your boy, Mr. Kelton. We'll keep at it until we do. You say that. How much do you believe it? About as much as I do. Not at all. Get some knives, he's on the... You better open that bike and get the poison out. What's he doing? Feel him. He's burning up. Yeah, I used nearly half a can of water on him during the night trying to keep that fever down. Didn't do much good. How are we going to keep moving with him on our hands? Well, I figured to take him back to Nogales. Waco can take him. Why one of my men? Why not send one of your own? Well, if that's the way you feel about it. Travis, you take him. Glad to. Just a second, Captain Brannan. I'd like that job. But well, Kelton said he didn't want any of his men going back. Look, I work for Mr. Kelton on his ranch. Out here, I figure I'm on my own. Well, that's up to you. He's scared. That's why he wants to go back. He's scared. I'm not scared. I want to take that man back, Captain. He's suffering. I want to take him where he can have help. You want to take him back? Sound like he's your brother or something. Captain, can I take him? Ah, uh, Denver, you better let Travis do it. Let's get saddled up. Ryan, please let me take that man back to Nogales. It's mighty important to me. Kelton wants you to stay with us. Is there anything I can do about it? Yes, you can. You're ahead of this posse. What you say goes. Captain Ryan, you gotta let me do it. No, Travis will take him back. I knew you were yellow. I knew it all the time. You're not gonna welch on this job. You're gonna stick it out like the rest of us. <laughs> Don't hit him again. I'll hit anybody I like, including you. Hold it! The 
There'll be no more of this bickering. You understand, Kelton? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. So I turned out this way, Denver. If you want the job of taking him back, it's yours. There's no use for anybody to take him back. He just died. Indians are going ahead of us. This is where they'll do it. How do you feel? Well, like yourself, tired. What about the others? Well, Denver's dragging pretty badly, him and his horse. All right, we'll take a breather. That's sure all right with me. People can rest if you want, but I'm going to ride on out and see what's up ahead. Now, wait a minute, Calvin. If you keep riding out alone, you're going to find trouble. Suppose you run into those raiders. What could you do by yourself? I'll do something. down on us right now. That's what I've been thinking. <laughs> Kelton will be lucky if those Indians don't catch up with him. You better go get him, Travis. But be careful. Been in my gun. Here, take mine. I'll use my rifle. Well, I guess we better round up what horses we have left and make camp here. Did you see anything of them? Not a sign, did you? No, but they're probably still around somewhere. I found something up the canyon, though, I'd like you to take a look at. I think it's important. All right, Travis. My horse was killed. Do you mind if I borrow yours? I don't like lending my horse. With a case like this, you have no choice. I'll, uh, leave me a rifle in case they attack again. Wait, go. Round up those horses. Yes, Captain. They weren't made by moccasins. Look at these empty casings. They were fired not too long ago. Hey, 
look over there. Oh, two riders, and neither one of them is an Indian. Let's go. Yes, it's your boy, and you're not coming near him. It's my son. Why can't I see him? I'm remembering a few things, Kelton. He's your adopted son. What difference does that make? Ties in with something else I remember. The ranch was the property of your wife, left to her in trust. Never actually belonged to you. You sound like a gossipy old woman. I understand your wife left a will when she died. Did it leave the ranch to the son? All right, Ronnie. What are you driving at? There was a man out here with the boy. And he was no Indian. He was paid to get him out of the way. And you think I paid him? That's right. <laughs> Making a fool out of yourself. There's plenty of proof with what happened to the posse. The Indians did that. There hasn't been a sign of an Indian, and you know it. And you were always riding out ahead. Ronnie, you've had too much heat. How about the attack that killed Denver? Were all those shots fired by one man? Yes, by one man. I caught that during the attack. Those shots came at regular intervals, with just time enough between the lever a repeating rifle. That's just a lot of talk. I can prove every word of it. I've been riding your horse. Is this your rifle? Yeah. Empty. Not a bullet in it. Three men died on this ride, Kelton. You killed two of them. That's why you came along. To break up the posse so we wouldn't find out about the boy. All right, Captain Reining. You're real smart. We all know that. But it won't do any good now. Look behind you. That's your rifle, Captain. You know this one isn't empty. You're a good man to have around, Captain. Well, is the boy going to be all right, Captain? Yes, all he needs is a little rest. You're going to have a big ranch to take care of when you get well. It'll be a long ride to Nogales on half a can of water, but we'll make it somehow. All right, men. Mount up. Let's get started. Twenty-six men who 
saddled up and then rode out to answer duty's call. Twenty-six men who live to ride again and fight for the rights and the liberty of all. This is the story of twenty-six men enforcing law within the territory. Praise be the glory of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. Ride on.